guess what? This is our next to last session. There's only one more after this. Tonight, we're going to talk about the wise men. Matthew 2, 1 through 2, and 11 through 12 says, Now when Jesus was born in Bethlehem, there came wise men from the east to Jerusalem, saying, Where is he that is born king of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east and are come to worship him. And when they were come, they saw the young child with Mary his mother and fell down and worshipped him. And when they had opened their treasures, they presented unto him gifts, gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And being warned of God in a dream that they should not return to Herod, they departed into their own country another way. It was the star that beckoned them to Bethlehem. But it was the baby Jesus they were seeking. Even though he was far away from where they lived, they wanted to be close to him. When the wise men finally arrived, they presented him their gifts. Gold glistened, the aroma of myrrh and frankincense filled the air, and they knelt before their king. The one that they were seeking was found. It was a journey of their life, and they were forever changed because of it. When they left him, they were different, and they journeyed home another way. On the night Jesus was born, the wise men began to seek him. Could you? What is one way you could seek Jesus? All right. Let's see what we got. We have... There's a stable. They're almost there. There's Joseph and Mary, an angel, and a running shepherd. And now we have Wiseman. So tonight we're going to add the Wiseman with gold and frankincense and myrrh. And we're going to add the camel. So we have one wise men and two wise men. I'm gonna punch them out. There's a third one. And then we're doing the camel, just right here. And so, we'll do the camel. There's the sticker. Gonna peel off the sticker very carefully. All right, we did it. Now we're gonna put the camel on the figure. There we go. There's the camel. And we're also going to need these. We're actually going to need four, so we might as well grab one, two, three, and four. So, we have camel. There's camel. Um, we're gonna put the camel over here. With the donkey across the way. All right. Get this one ready. And 
add this one. Let's see if we can match him. But he's got a little little bump on the top of the head. So we know that this is the one that's carrying gold. Cause he's got the little little um I can't think what that's called. A little um ball on top of that on top of his hat. There you go. So we have gold and next one. All right, now He's got round, so we're gonna go to the next one. And this one's carrying, what did I say he was carrying? Frankincense. Frankincense is a type of essential oil, and you can still buy it today. And it smells kind of like, um, spicy, <laughs> maybe. I think it smells really good, but it can be really strong. But it's good for your skin and... There's different things that it's it, it's beneficial. It's um can be really expensive. If you get pure frankincense, it's it's pretty expensive. Um, but you can get it like a little bit cheaper, and it's already mixed with the oil. Um, so that if it's pure, it, you can't just like put it on your skin. You've got to mix it with something. Um. But so now we have frankincense. And it was very beneficial. Um, it smells good too. But it was something that was very highly sought after in Jesus' day. And you can still get gold today too. It's very, um, it's worth a lot. So. And then myrrh is also... It's a type of spice um, that I think you can get essential oil. I think you can get it as an essential oil. Um, I'm not 100% sure on that. Um, but it's also very beneficial. Um, so we have our last one. It's not perfect, but that's the beauty of it. It doesn't have to be perfect. We're not perfect. Only Jesus is perfect. And he loves us anyway. So there's our wise man. So see the wise man and the camel. Mary and Joseph and shepherds, the donkey, all that. The sheep. Can't forget the sheepy. So the wise men exemplify the journey each of us take as we seek Jesus. They remind us that as we draw closer to him, we will be led to continue our journey another way. Think about activities, traditions, or habits that will help you seek Jesus. Remember how the wise men followed the star? As a family, talk about some things that you could do that would lead you closer to Jesus. 
When you have finished, place the Weisman in your stable. I have another craft this week. This session is a snowflake. And there's, you can use little snowflakes to decorate or there's these little gems that you can stick on and you can decorate however you want. Every snowflake is different and every snowflake reminds us that God has created us to be unique in our own way. And Jesus wants to use those as we seek him to show other people what he has done for us and everything um he wants everything we do to glorify him i will see you next time bye